to my youtube channel if you are new here thank you thank you so much for tuning in and if you are a returning subby thank you as well so yeah this video as you guys can see from the title of the video this video is an acne journey video so i wanted to take you guys on my acne journey as you guys can see i haven't cleared up my acne so i wanted you guys to like you know get you know reviews get everything so what i wanted to do first is to actually give you guys on an inside um look on how my acne started and what irritated my skin and how i went about it and mental health and all that so um yeah so that's what this video is mainly about and then after that i might i will be um, giving you guys monthly reviews up until my birthday next year so yes my 21st birthday to be more specific what I'm planning is I'm planning on clearing up my skin before my birthday which so what we're gonna start with is I'm gonna start explaining how my acne started and when it started so let's get on with it so my acne started in 2017 when I was in grade 9 but then then it wasn't severe it wasn't bad it wasn't like something that actually bothered me so it started then and it was only like pimples that i got every month so there's like pimples around my forehead that i got every month and bear in mind that i'm very light skin so um yeah but and also i didn't try any products like i wasn't i didn't have a specific um skincare routine so i wasn't strict so it was just like i used whatever um, skincare products were at home my mom's skincare products i just used those just to wash my face and you know get on with my day and go to school so um that was 2017 and my acne wasn't bad so 2018 my acne wasn't bad as well it was just there here and there and i i think 2018 was when i think i was getting older and i started to so i started using you know a few products here and there to wash my face to clear up my you know my spots and my breakouts i think at that time um i was starting to get insecure about my acne so i was like i wanted to get you know get rid of the spots in the acne but it wasn't also bad so i didn't actually obsess with my acne as i was last year and to end in 2019 but we'll get to that so 2018 was okay as well it was a breeze i got i got um breakouts every now and then and that was okay i mean it wasn't you know it wasn't really really bad up until my aunt um suggested that i use zimplex so she explained everything and how zimplex worked so first it made your acne worse and then it made and then it cleared up your acne so my mom and i decided that i was gonna take um i was gonna get on the zimplex pills so after i got on the zimplex pills i think i was on the zimplex pills for like two months and then after that in december so it was october november and then in december i started um developing severe cystic acne around my cheeks which some people might know as um hormonal acne so what from my perspective i think the zimplex um triggered um my hormone my hormones and made it like made my hormones fracture up what did he say so i started developing um acne around my chin my cheeks and around my forehead i think but my forehead wasn't really bad my forehead was already really um you know bad because i had like um the scars and some few pimples here and there and texture here and there but now my cheeks were starting to get um acne as well so at that time that's when it started irritating me like i started to get really 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 irritated and and around that time i also had i bought a um Actually, I didn't buy it, but like I got it as a present, like a um, Christmas present. A so, um, so it's a brush that you use to wash your face with instead of using your hands. So what happened is it had a um a, a exfoliating brush, and I started to use that exfoliating brush each and every day because I was starting to get irritated irritated with my skin. So I'd use it every day and my skin would get irritated i had like it was like 
the acne wasn't on the outside it was like more on the inside like under the surface that's why it irritated me because it wasn't coming out on the outside it was just like under the surface was i was really really irritated so what happened was um my aunt suggested that i use black soap and she suggested that using when i'm using black soap i should leave it on my skin for like five to ten minutes and then wash it off so i tried that for about a week up until i noticed that no i was starting to you know when your pimple dries up and you start getting like dead skin cells on top yes start getting dead skin cells on top that you can peel off my skin started developing that on top of those um um pimples and that was a no-no for me i stopped using it and i was like nope sorry number one number two my skin started to become dark and my family told me no it's okay and i was like yeah it's okay i'm starting to get dark bear in mind that i'm a light skin i'm starting to, de- to get dark like i've been burnt by the sun and my acne is no sorry i stopped using that and they kept persisting that saying that it will get better it will get better at first um products first um, make your skin worse before it gets it um cleared up and for me that's not how it works baby like no so i um stopped using that sorry and then um schools opened and i went to school then people kept asking what happened and i think that for me was my breaking point i started to obsess over my skin i started to go crazy i went crazy when i would get money like monthly allowance i would walk to so i I, my school was in mobi so i would walk to ronabosh um the clicks in ronabosh so i would walk there to buy products to see what products would work and i would start going on pinterest on google on google on instagram to find products that would work for me find products that i could go buy at clicks at this game at pharmacies that would work for me so i was obsessing over my skin so i started using this product and that product i use himalaya him i think it's pronounced himalaya or himalaya i can't really pronounce it but i'll put the name here as well so i started using himalaya products they worked for a while and then stopped again and i moved on to um I forgot what this thing is now oh i'll paste a picture of it but i started going to that and it also didn't work i started using i started going crazy i started doing homemade remedies mixed coffee with honey all that and my skin got irritated like my skin went crazy like my acne blew up my skin became darker i looked crazy I'll paste the pictures for you. I look crazy. But then I didn't have like pictures, but I'll paste the picture for you. I look crazy. Like it was the worst. My self-esteem dropped. My confidence dropped. Everything went from this to down, like to z- minus zero, like literally minus zero. I got depressed. I got, I started um getting social anxiety. Like I didn't want to be around people. I literally did not want to be around people like when i would go to school i just go to school mind my own biz and just get out of school and get home i wouldn't even stay with my friends i would just get to get on the bus in the morning get to school and after school on the way on the bus on the way home and that's it and at home i didn't go out outside i didn't want to go outside because one thing that irritated me was the fact that people kept asking like how am i supposed to know like people kept asking what happened to you and guys if you're one of those people that do that please stop please stop that that literally drags a person's confidence and self-esteem to the ground you know what's the wrong with their skin and you asking them you're literally making them more insecure than they were so you keep asking they become less they become more insecure they become more insecure so if you're one of those people just please stop don't do it it's really not nice i understand that sometimes you're really really curious but at the same time to them it sounds as if you guys are being really really insensitive and you i feel like people are really really being insensitive like i literally look at people like i mean baby girl how the hell do you think i'm supposed to know that like how am i supposed to know 
I don't know what happened. I also don't know. I'm also confused. I also want to get rid of it. So you asking this is literally not making anything easier for me. So anyways, that's not the point. But I just wanted to tell you guys that. If you're doing it, please cut it off. Don't do it. It's really not nice. So anyways, so where was I? Where was I? So my acne got worse and people started asking. And people at school started asking. Teachers started asking. And I was still obsessed with my skin. That made it worse. And I think that I was a skincare junkie. Yeah, I started becoming a skincare junkie where everything I'd buy is skincare products. Like, literally, skincare products. I would try this. You know, at home, in my cupboard, I had a, a closet. So you'd open, and the first block that's there, you'd see skincare products, and that's it. You'd see all different kinds of skin skincare products. My even my family was doing that it wasn't healthy and I needed to like chop it down a little bit and just leave my skin be and I just couldn't because people kept asking so I just had that thing that I would I just wanna get it my skin cleared. I just wanna get it cleared like like forever. So it became worse and then I think in it became worse and then i think I, I kept on doing um trying products like every week like every week i try new products every week i try new products so in 2020 which was last year i realized that you know what some people ask them asking about my skin it's just them being curious and that oh yeah before that i started disliking myself i started to stop i would never look myself in the mirror i hated my own reflection i started hating my own reflection i um i would cry to cry myself to sleep i would like i thought i was ugly in fact i was told that i was ugly so i started to believe that i was ugly and in the morning or at night when i would wash my face i would just wash it do everything, do my whole skincare product, skincare um, regimen, and after that, I would go to sleep. I stopped looking at my own reflection. Reflection. I um. Uh, what happened? I. I stopped um. I'm um, sitting in the living room. I started locking myself in my room because every time people came to visit, they would ask questions. They would, you know, and it started irritating me and making me very uncomfortable in my own home. So the only place for me that felt comfortable was in my room. So I stayed there. I locked myself in the room. And then and then when I would go out with family, I would literally be like reserved. And then, you know, I'd literally just pray that we would go home immediately. Like we got there and I'd pray that we just go home like immediately. And I, yeah. Up until twin the um twenty twenty, I wrote down my New Year's resolution on thirty first December twenty nineteen, and one of my New Year's resolutions were to self love, to love myself regardless because at the end of the day, I am beautiful, and what's more important is what I think about myself. So I started in twenty twenty. I started um loving myself more, practicing self love, practicing self affirmation, affirmation. Child. I started practicing self um, affirmation, self love, and all that, and it has worked great for me. You know, it has really, really worked, and I think that's one of the major things that have helped me. You know, calm down and not obsess over my skin and not obsess over clearing it up, and just realize, Guti, that I'm beautiful. Guti, that it's my opinion. It's how I perceive myself self is more important than how other people see um, me so um i start i stopped use I, I kept on using other products as well but like it was very important for me to self-love so i all it together i stopped using products and i started using products for like a month or two because i did a kind of research that um products do take four weeks to like eight weeks to work so if a product didn't work, I'd jump to the next and, you know, but take it easy on myself. So in um, 2020, my acne was still worse, but I was, I wasn't obsessing over it. 
so um i I so in 2020 I decided to go to the um, clinic and get um, um, contraceptive pills that are said to help with um, hormonal acne. So I went on to get um, the contraceptive pills, got them, got them for like the first three months, and I didn't see much of results. And I got them for another three months, and I didn't see any results up until December, but. I did see results in December, but the only problem was I would get like pimples here and there, and that's like not what I wanted. I wanted my skin to be cleared up completely, so and I felt like they were not working the way I wanted wanted them to work. Yes, my my acne wasn't as bad, but like I I still um could feel the texture i do i kind of don't feel the texture now but i still felt the texture then so i was like no let me get off off this pill i love i also love the fact that they um i didn't get period pains like nothing at all i would get my periods regularly so that was nice but the fact that they didn't clear up my acne was like no so i stopped using them and um i think i'll post a picture here as well to what um kind of um, pills that I use because I forgot what their name I think it's I forgot what the name of the pills were but they didn't work for me so I stopped using I stopped going to the clinic altogether because child who am I going to the clinic for for what for who anyway so um I stopped and then this year I decided to stop using products for like two weeks or so stopped using products up until so i used stopped using products so what i used was normal um cream um clinic cream that my aunt had and um sunlight soap so i used that so um yeah after using that for like two weeks someone suggested that i go on um gentle magic um products use gentle magic products and i tried to use them and um I promised myself to use the products for like at least four months and then I decided to like and then I'll see if it's working or not so at the moment I'm still using the products and for me I really really feel that they are working they really really are this is my skin now and they are working for me they are working but you know they are working in a slow you know process but now i don't have acne that much i only have breakouts when i'm you know on my period and that's it what, what i'm left with now is the spots and i don't know what to use for the spots but when i when i do get the product that will actually clear up my skin i will update you guys on it and i'll review it for you guys and tell you how it's going so um yeah i am still on this acne journey i'm still going to try new products but i won't be obsessing with my skin and i will not try and um try new products every two weeks i'll give the product time products time so um yeah i will start um impl i have started actually um adding on t into my skincare routine like mask I've started act, um, adding moss to my skincare routine and the moment that um, I find the moss that work I'll review them for you guys I think next month so um, stay tuned for that and if you guys like videos like this please um, like comment and share and subscribe to my channel thank you guys for tuning in and um, I'm really, really sorry that I was all over the place. I am. <laughs> I'm new to this, so I'll get used to it. So, yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll keep making videos, the acne videos, each and every month for you guys. And, um, yeah. And I'll give you guys, like, the progress and everything. So, yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. Love you guys so much. Bye.